Hey, good morning, everyone. I'm Dylan from Diamond Spotlight. Here in front of us, we have an unboxing of a one carat oval cut diamond engagement ring from James Allen. Now, this is the fancy packaging that they give you little magnetic door there on the front and the ring is front and center. And as always, we get straight to the point on this channel. So let's go ahead and take a look at the ring first. That is that beautiful one carat oval diamond engagement ring set in a solitaire band. Very, very cost efficient. Now this ring is a lab diamond. So if you are on a budget, a ring like this with a lab diamond can be incredibly, incredibly affordable. This ring shipped to my door cost $2,000. $44. So a really good value for a lab diamond. If you were to get this in a natural diamond, it would look very similar, but that price would probably be anywhere from four to 6K, depending on the characteristics of the diamond. So if you guys are looking for a diamond engagement ring, I can really recommend James Allen. When I was doing my shopping, I really liked their site and they were the first ones that I visited because I was able to build the ring that I wanted and pick the specific diamond that matched what I was looking for. Um, I got a natural diamond, but they have lab diamonds and natural diamonds, depending on what you like and they allow you to get a specific price and then you can shop around. By the time I was done shopping around, they had the best bang for my buck, and so that's why I went with them. So if you wanna check them out, I will put a link down in the video description, and I also have a ton of videos on my channel showing other diamonds that have come from them as well, so be sure to check those videos out. In the bottom drawer here, this is where you're gonna find all of your paperwork for your diamond, and you're also gonna have your nice little cleaning cloth here from James Allen, and inside that paperwork, we'll go ahead and pull out the diamond report. Let's go ahead and put the ring back in the box, and let's take a look at the official diamond report for this oval diamond. As you can see, this one is graded by IGI. Now, depending on which diamond you pick from their website, it will be graded by either IGI, GIA, or AGS. Now, on this report, you can see that the diamond is a one carat, it's a G in the color grade, it's a VS2 in clarity, excellent polish, excellent symmetry, no fluorescence, and it is an oval brilliant lab diamond. So you will get a report like this specifically for the diamond that you pick, and this is what gives you all the official information and showing you the official grading report of the diamond. So let's go ahead and take this outside. I have to say that both oval diamonds and round diamonds are my favorite cuts by far. Just Every angle that you look at an oval diamond or a round diamond, they sparkle, they have really good light reflection, and they just are very, very fun to look at. And I think they are just the perfect diamond cuts, right? Both oval and round, they just look fantastic. So as you can see, we are outside in this specific lighting. We're right around noontime. Uh, I'm wearing these jeweler's gloves because it helps the camera focus so you guys can see the diamond. And I also have kind of rough hands because I work outside a lot. So I don't have those nice modeling hands that everyone has uh, on YouTube. But this allows you to really see the stone. As you can see, it is sparkling from all angles. It looks really, really good. And it's just a, a great looking ring. You know, this is a lab diamond, but like I've said in the past, and I've had videos to prove this, that both lab diamonds and natural diamonds look very, very similar to one another. So if you were to get a natural diamond, it would look very similar to this. But I mean, this ring and a solitaire band coming in at right around $2,000, I mean, $2,050 basically, is absolutely unbelievable. So if you're in the market for a lab diamond, they look fantastic and this is a perfect example of an inexpensive ring. Another thing that you should note about this ring is that it is set in a uh, solitaire band that's called the Knife Edge Band. The Knife Edge Band on their website is offered both in a six prong and a four prong and the band itself only costs $240. So this really allows you to put a lot more money into your stone rather than your band. If you were to get a paved band or something that was a little bit more fancy, then that price just for the setting uh, in the band is, is gonna be upwards of like $1,500. So it leaves you less money for your stone. So just something to keep in mind. Another uh, lighting condition that I wanted to show you guys was this ring in both a combination of fluorescent and LED lighting. This is oftentimes what you find in jewelry stores, so I figured it would be good to include it in this video. And uh, this really helps you see sort of the very particular details of the diamond with the interior lighting because it's a little less uh, harsh, not as bright, and it'll allow you to see a little bit deeper into the stone. But as you can see, it looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, Diamonds are very fascinating. Every diamond has uh, its own characteristics. And I find that even diamonds with inclusions and stuff uh, are incredibly interesting just to see how they're naturally formed. So this specific diamond is a VS2, so you're not going to see any inclusions. It's very eye clean. It's, I think, the perfect, I mean, in terms of characteristics, this really hits the sweet spot in terms of value and overall look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Like I said, I will have a link 
to James Allen's engagement rings down in the video description if you guys want to check them out. And you can build a ring just like this, whether it's a natural diamond or a lab diamond, and pick the exact setting that you want. They even have a new ring studio where you can custom build a ring if that's something that you're into. And you can get exactly what you want. And you, the, the most important part is you can get a price of what they're going to charge to make your ring. And then you can take that price and shop around. But if you're like me, ultimately, I got the best value with them. And that's why I bought my fiance's engagement ring from them. And then that started this whole series of videos where I was doing research and providing videos like this because there wasn't a lot out there on YouTube at the time when I was shopping. So I feel like it's my responsibility to give these kind of videos to everybody else to help them out. So if it helped you guys out, check out the James Allen link below. Leave a like on the video. Let me know in the comments what you think of this ring and what kind of ring you guys are looking at. And until then, guys, enjoy the video. Appreciate you watching. Take care and good luck on your ring shopping.